Uh, welcome to the second webinar of a series of webinars for um, the Google Summer Code 2009. Uh, my name is Naveen Gavini, and I'll be presenting my Summer of Code project, which is uh, multi-site support. And um, so uh, to get started, I figured we'd talk about um, a little bit about the motivation for the project. Um, I think really the idea really came about um, when I was in school and my university was kind of looking for a content management system that featured multi-site support. Uh, the reason for that was they wanted to share, you know, content, users, and data across multiple sites, um, but have it easy to administer the different websites and um, the content sharing. Um, the, the second motivation, I think, the biggest thing was uh, looking at the forms um, on Joomla.org uh, a lot of the users in the community, you know, talked about multi-site for years, and um, it's available in other content management systems, so it really should be available. Uh, an open source um, solution should be available in Joomla. Um, and there was a lot of talk, uh, a lot of different requests um, for different features to be shared, uh, such as users, content, um, components, modules. So there was a lot of talk on the forms. Uh, so it was a good um, idea for this summer. Uh, and the final reason is uh, I've been using Joomla for years uh, now and um, and I really wanted to give back to the community um, because you know it's a great piece of software that I've used to make many many websites. Um, so a little bit about multi-site, uh, the project and the concept. Um, for those of you that don't understand it, uh, you know, there's a there's a link that I'll be posting at the end, which is um, just a rundown of the project as a whole. But basically, um, the idea behind multi-site is to be able to run multiple um, Joomla uh, websites off of one installation um, per se, and uh, allow them allow you to share information between the different sites and also keep certain information separate so um, there's many subsets of the problem um, and uh, you know every uh, different installation you know users and administrators are going to want different things so um, you know to set up multi-sites there's different subsets uh, ranging from one database with multiple websites um, you could do this via, you know, using different table prefixes. Um, there, there's multiple databases uh, with multiple sites, so each site having its own database or, you know, multiple sites sharing one database and then other sites having other databases. Uh, and then the final one is multiple code bases with various database options intertwined. So you can mix and match the first two in um, multiple code bases. So um, those are, you know, there's a lot of different subsets, and really you can combine all three um, and intertwine them and, and come up with new combinations. So uh, with that said, um, it's a very, it's a very um, large project. So uh, talking with my mentor and um, just the project in general, we have to kind of slim it down. Uh, for the summer uh, in terms of summer goals. So we, what we did was we kind of uh, took a subset of the problem, which is uh, using one code base uh, and one database and allow multi-site deployment via different table prefixes. Um, and the other goals, obviously, were to create a system compatible with all existing components, modules, and plugins. Um, and with the obvious overall goal to share users, sessions, modules, components, and content between sites. And obviously, you know, keep separate uh, what the site administrator wants to keep separate as well. So not everything needs to be shared. You know, select components could be shared. So um, the Joomla multi-site component uh, that I've created, uh, what does it do and what doesn't it do? because um, I think it's kind of clear to lay out what it can and cannot do. Um, basically, uh, all the things I just talked about, the goals we were able to achieve 